Hi friends, in this video let's talk about inner join in the SQL Server. It is one of the important join in the SQL Server. This will help us to combine the two tables based on the combination we will get the common data between the two tables. To work with inner join you need minimum two tables and maximum it is up to us based on our requirement and unnecessarily using more tables in the joins it may degrade the query performance. So before writing a join query please validate the join is really required between the tables or not. If something can be possible without joins please go with that. Okay and let me show you how to work with them inner join in the SQL Server. So as I told you to work with inner join I need two tables minimum. So in this example I am going to take the first table is employee table the other one is a department table. So let me take you to the SQL Server Management Studio where I have the two tables in a particular database. So let me show you. So I have a database. So under the database I have a department table with a name of DEPT. The name of DEPT. So let me run this. So once I run this I have a three columns department number department name building under that I have a four five rows if you see this. So these are all the list of columns which are there in my department table. Now let me go to the employee table under that employee table I have around so 20 rows with around seven columns so employee ID employee first name employee last name gender salary department number and location okay so these are all the list of employees which are under employee table let me run this so these are all around I have around 20 records so those 20 records I can see here the number in the down so these are all the list of employees which are on my particular company and respect to departments I have in the de department table so now let me tell you how to join with this first let me write the syntax so what is the syntax and what is the syntax so I need to write select select and the column names column 1 comma column 2 comma and so on from table 1 join or I can put inner join either is fine there is no difference between if you use a join or inner join so I am keeping as R here okay to say either join or inner join is both are same and I am going to write the syntax table 2 okay on table 1 dot column 1 equal to table 2 dot column 2 table 2 dot column 2 so now so this is a syntax of writing the inner join between the two tables if you have a multiple tables more than two then we may need to write one more join to join with that other table so this is how we'll be writing so how many rows or how much of the data i'll be getting so if you see the pictorial representation of it so this is my employee table so i have a two circles here so first one is my employee table okay Second one is my department table. So in this I have two tables. First one is employee table. Second one is the department table. So here if I see the if I observe the uh, output here I will be getting the common data between these two tables. What is the common place between these two? The common place between these two is this if you see this this is the common place. So this is the data which I will be getting as a result of my inner join. Okay. So now if there is a extra employees which are not tied to the department. So those employees won't come here into this common place and there is a department which has declared newly in the department table. So that department number also won't come in my common area. So what are all the employees which are tied to the department. So those employees only will come here. So what are all the departments which are tied to the employee those departments only come into the common area. So that is the expected or final output when you when you write an inner join between the employee and department table. 
so employee and department table not only that so you can apply no join between customer and products student and mouse like that now let me write a query to see the data let me write a query so okay now let me write it here in the same the next select so i'll be putting empty space for the columns for time being so let me write a from onwards from table 1 table 1 is nothing but by employee employee okay so let me give a alias name e okay i can give whatever the name i want so e is nothing but a alias name of the employee table so whenever i need to call a employee table i can call with e okay join or let me write inner join there is no change between join and inner join inner join department department okay so what is my table name department so department i am going to make it as a d as a alias name for this on so table 1 dot column 1 if you see this table 1 dot column 1 here i will that is the reason why i will writing e dot so what is the common column between these two columns these two tables department number so department number is there in my employee table as well as my department table if you see this so i have a department number in both the tables let me take it department number so here i will write department number equal to d dot department what is the common column between two tables that column names you need to write in the joins now what are all the final columns you need in my output so e dot so employee name for employee id comma e dot f name comma e dot l name comma what is it yeah e dot gender comma so e dot location comma d dot department number comma d dot department name so these are all the list of columns i need it so each and every column you need to separate with a comma between the column names okay so this is how we'll write the inner join query between the two tables now let me run this query see when you have a multiple queries in a single sql window so if you want to run the specific query let's select that particular query and click on execute or if you don't select that and if you click on execute so my SQL server engine, it tries to run this query, this query and this query, all the three queries in one shot. So that time if there are any uh, like a syntactical mistakes, then that time that particular query is going to fail. So if you if you see this, I highlighted a query, so which is not correct syntactically, it is only syntax. So but these column one, column two is does not exist in physically in the table one, even table one is also not there physically in my database. So that's the reason why. When you have a multiple queries in a single window, let's select that particular query only, select that and let's run this. So once you run this, so you will be getting the results. Now if you see how many rows you got it, you got the same 20 rows. It means that I have all the employee records are tied with a department name or department number. On the other hand, all the departments are tied to the employees. That's the reason why all 20 rows I got it. If you see how many records I have in the employee table, so I have same 20 records, the same 20 records already tied with a, any at least one department number. That's the reason why I got it. If you see now the output, employee ID is one, first name John, DOE as a last name, gender M, location India, department number 4001, department name technical. The similarly, you can see all the other departments. Okay, so this is how my join query is going to work. Now let us assume it. So I have a product and customer table. I have a product and customer table in the same scenario i'll be writing select but i don't have physically those tables i'll be writing the query uh, to show you one more example between customer and products select star select from customer okay i'm going to make it as a c as a uh, alias name for the customer inner join or join either is same in this example i am using join so join products p on c dot product id because i don't have a physically a customer and product table that's the reason why intelligence is not working please keep in mind those is two tables are does not exist in my database that's the reason why i'm i'm getting some red highlighter in my down to this particular column equal to 
p dot product id so if you want to specify those column names c dot customer name first name comma p dot product name comma some uh, c dot quantity or whatever it is so whatever the columns you have that you need to specify here so that is how my inner join query between the products and the customer if you want to write the similar query between the a student and marks you will be replacing customer with students and the products with the marks so this is, this is how you need to write a inner join between the two tables so when you have a multiple tables so let us assume it so product and like let us say location so here i need to write again join so location is a third table now location okay so location i am going to keep the l as a uh, alias name on L dot location ID equal to C dot. Assume it customer table have a location ID C dot location ID. So this is how you need to write when you have a three tables. Okay, when you have n tables, so that's what you will go. You will be writing similarly those table names along with those on conditions. Still, like if you want to apply a, a where condition in the inner join query, yes, you can apply. So once you are done with the inner join, at last let's put a where condition. and you can write like let us say so d dot department number equal to so d dot department number equal to let us assume it 4001 it means that so there is a join is happening between the employee table and department table after that i am i need only the department people who is belongs to 4001 it means that you will get only specific department people only so once you apply where condition after that you cannot write a join condition let us say i cannot write this join condition once after the where condition if you want to write a where uh, join condition again let's write before where you can write one more join you can include a other table and at last you need to put the where condition so where condition should be last you cannot write join after the where condition so that is how we are going to implement the inner joins in the sql server that's it hope this video helps you to understand the inner joins in the sql server for more other uh, type of joins please check the videos in my video collection please subscribe if you like our videos please share and like thank you